Welcome to Redbeard and the Den of Tools. Howdy ho guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again reporting on some breaking news. Yeah, you remember we reported last year that Sears was going down in flames and that this was more than likely going to be its final Christmas. Well, <laughs> the uh, the CEO of, of uh, Sears there, uh, Eddie Lampere, he... Uh, He's been scrambling uh, hard and fast to do everything he can to keep it alive. I've been sitting on some news. There's been some information coming out, but it was all uh, it was all waiting on a judge to rule today on whether Eddie was going to be able to keep this thing alive. And uh, <laughs> I'm, you know, believe it or not, I'm sad to say that it is. Yeah, you know, I I did not honestly. The bear said it. It said it wasn't going to happen. There was no way he could pull this out. But I didn't take in one thing into account, and that is. Satan takes care of his own. Yeah, Fast Eddie there was able to work a deal with his major creditor. The Yeah, the people holding the, the note there on the, the whole retirement benefits package. And which was, I think it was, well, $1.7 billion something dollars. Anyway, uh, they were the biggest ones pushing for of all his creditors to liquidate the company. And I don't know what these guys pulled. But at the last minute, they flip-flopped. And came back to the judge uh, early this morning saying, nope, we now endorse the deal. Well, the, the judge looking at it at that point had, I mean, I think that was one third of the total outstanding uh, debt that Sears had. And he had not much choice at that point when you have the biggest creditor and all those jobs lining up and somebody willing to buy the company to keep it afloat. Yeah, he gave the old thumbs up. Uh, judge uh, Robert Drain. <laughs> yeah. It, it just gets better and better. Anyway, he approved the $5.2 billion deal, saying that it's going to save 425 stores and roughly 45,000 jobs. Oh, this is this has been just, you know, hanging people's lives just over the fire pit, if you will. In fact, as rough as this is, I, I want to read you a letter here that I've got. This was a letter... Uh, written by, um, well, it was sent to the bankruptcy, it was sent to the judge by a group of employees for Sears Holdings. Uh, and they sent it through a, a group called Rise Up Retail and urged the presiding judge to, quote unquote, give them a seat at the table in this transaction, saying that it's nothing more than a scheme for Eddie Lampere, to, the CEO, to steal, quote unquote, steal key Sears assets. Now, I've been saying this all along but i i just you know what they deserve to be heard they're the ones that really on the wrong end of any of these dealings and here's what they have to say we are writing on behalf of current and former sears and kmart employees whose future economic securities lies in your hands many of us have been with sears and kmart for decades and fondly remember them as family companies who care deeply about their workforce we have been actively following the bankruptcy proceedings <laughs> yeah, i bet as ultimately it is our jobs and benefits that are at stake. Since the bankruptcy announcement in October, we have not had peace of mind. It was stunning to watch our company and our jobs being tossed around like a volleyball by Eddie Lampere with no outreach to his employees. Can, can you believe that? This dude is doing all this stuff and at no point thinks, hey, we should talk to the guys who work for me. <laughs> Unreal. That really just basically kind of put frames perfectly where this guy's head is and what's going to happen with this company. When you pull a deal like this and you don't even talk to the people working for you, then you're not really sitting there thinking about the business so much as the assets, are you? Now, this is not surprising. Lampere is always, going back to what they say here, Lampere has always uh, put personal financial gain before his employees and their families. As Sears' biggest shareholder, chairman, and lender, the CEO, Lampere, has repeatedly stripped Sears of its assets and sold them off piece by piece to corporations he controls or has major stakes in. While these decisions have made Lampere more than billion, more than a billion dollars, he has destroyed more than 250,000 jobs in the process. He's put countless families in financial harm, closed the vast majority of Sears and Kmart stores, and put the company on the brink of liquidation. <laughs> and I'll be honest, <laughs> my own personal thought, that, that's putting it mildly. Anyway, he, they go on to say, for the sake of our jobs, our coworkers, and our community, and our families, we want Sears Holdings to succeed, not to be a pawn in Lambert's game. 
The reality, as we know from our lived experience, is that Lampair has been putting the company through the longest liquidation in retail history. If he regains control of Sears, he will merely continue that slow burn. Lampair has repeatedly shown that our severance and retirement are of no concern to him. Last year, he wrote in the Sears holding blog that if the company had taken the billions it paid to employees, hard-earned pension plans, and put it into its operations, it would have more resources to compete with large retailers. In other words, if we steal the money from our employees, we could be a lot more successful. <laughs> we think he could have done the same with the three with the five point three billion in share repurchases he issued over the years for his own short term profits. Unfortunately, Eddie Lampere's bid is the only one that does not lead to liquidation. The unsecured creditors community has made major allegations about Lampere's years of misconduct, so have I and deliberate profiteering from Sears at the expense of others, <laughs> I think. While the UCC's motions are compelling, it does not center us, the employees, and our livelihoods, and seeks to destroy Lampere's bid for its own gain. REITs like Simon and manufacturers like Whirlpool are only interested in recuperating their debts through liquidation, not about the employees. In case you didn't know, a, a REIT is a real estate investment uh, stock thing where they take a bunch of real estate, bundle it up in a portfolio and call it a stock. or It's kind of like a stock. And Simon is, if I'm not mistaken, the largest uh, chain of uh, malls in the United States, of which Sears is usually an anchor store. I guess they haven't been uh, paying their rent. Anyway, they go on. There, There's more. Not too much, though. As current and former employees, we are stuck between a rock and a hard place as neither option offers us a secure future. Our labor helps build these companies, but we are not considered creditors, secured or unsecured. We saw how you attempted to bargain a, a fair deal for unionized workers during the hostess bankruptcy. We are reaching out in the hope that you will do the same for all Sears and Kmart workers. We love our company and we want to see it prosper again. We have deep concerns that if Eddie Lampere takes the helm again, the Sears and Kmart we all know and love will be gone forever. We believe that with insight and accountability from the workforce, new Sears has the chance to succeed. We would like to propose the following three cha changes as a positive step for new Sears to be successful. Is this like new Pepsi or new Coke or whatever? Anyway, if Lampere's bid, is, this is the first one, if Lampere's bid is the lead contender, he should meet with current and former employees to listen to our ideas and concerns. He also needs to offer severance for pre-pension workers, pre-petition workers, who have not been fairly compensated. Number two, current employees and community leaders should have a seat at the table in the form of a corporate board representation. Yeah, that's a fact. And number three, the position of CEO and chairperson of the board of New Sears must be separate. They want to separate the CEO from the chair of the board because that way then the the guy who's in charge has... Why, why do you always do that? You, I'm doing a video here and you you just what? You want to be popular? You want to, you want a bit part in this? No. Anyway. So, sorry, my, my phone's always looking for attention. The, anyway, the point is that the CEO usually has, his boss is usually the chairman of the board. But when the CEO is the chairman of the board, he doesn't have to answer to anybody. Anyway, we hope you will seriously consider our recommendations as we are seriously vested in the future. Best interest of the company is directly tied to a secure economic future for us and our families. We want to rebuild the Sears and Kmart of old in 2019 and beyond. Wow. I mean, that is a, a compelling statement and, and it's really well put there. And I hope they do get those concessions from Lampere. They're not going to. I, I don't see him in any way, shape, or form giving them a, a seat on the board or doing anything else. Because quite frankly, I don't think he has any interest in keeping Sears running as a, a going concern. Uh, I, I think he's more interested in the real estate and the brand name and what he can do with it. He sold off, think of it, he sold off everything about Sears that, that has any real value. Uh, he, he sold off so many of the different brands up to and including Craftsman it's a shell of a company. And if you're not going to work with the employees, then, then what's the point really? Because if, if the employees don't feel that they're part of the company and they're not uh, bought in on the whole package, 
when you go into a Sears, it's always been, you know, being met with a smile and a kind word. How you doing? Can I help you? Kind of thing. And instead, it's going to be like walking into Walmart and people avoiding you at all costs. In fact, the many Sears, it already is like that. That is if you can find one near you. And here's the better part. Even if he does keep going here, they've already announced that they intend to close at least 35 more stores this year between Kmart and Sears. And that's the, uh, the bare minimum, if you would, of stores that they'll need to close just to consolidate their debt and uh, stop the hemorrhaging of spending, if you will. I don't know what the future of Sears is going to be. Obviously, I didn't think that Lampere would be able to pull it off with his creditors and such, and I'd love to hear what kind of backroom deal he pulled with these guys to get them to, at the very last minute, flip-flop what he promised them. Oh, it's a sad, sad day. Anyway... That, that's the news for you. Sears is going to be around for a bit longer. Who and what they're really going to be, you know, no one can really tell. Don't ask the bear at this point. My paws are off of it. I don't want to have anything to do with it. I'm not going to be shopping there until they, uh, they decide to put the employees and the customers before their profits because that, that's the reality. When you start pushing towards nothing but the bottom line, you get people like Eddie Lampere. Uh, if you haven't seen my, my video on uh, how uh, Home Depot got started, it was a story much like uh, Eddie Lampere's there and the people who really wanted to run a store in a solid and efficient manner uh, got fired and they went off to uh, start Home Depot. Who knows, maybe that's what happened here. Maybe the Sears employees will run off and start their own company. I don't know. Anyway, that's the news. Everything that's fit to print or you can fit in the print, however it goes. Take care, everybody, and as always... Shine on.